Yo, what is up everyone? Tachi here. So unfortunately, it's not really going to be much way for me to show this exactly because it would kind of require like knowing the exact stat of either the enemies or my teammates. So I'm just going to provide the calculator. I'm going to explain exactly how it works. I'm going to show the buff stacks and all of that stuff. Um, I will try to make it as easy as possible. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, feel free to ask in the comments down below or in the Snow White Discord, which I hope I will not forget to put the link to uh, somewhere in the comments. So the first field that you guys see here is the stat, right? And in this case specifically, it is going to be the exact stat that you are either trying to buff or debuff. If you happen to be using a skill that does multiple things, for example, it buffs both physical and magical defense, it's fine because the amount that you're buffing is pretty much still the same thing, right? So that, that field is fine regardless of how you're doing it. So this is just your actual stat amount. Now this target amount is basically based on how many targets your actual skill is hitting, right? So if you're hitting one target, it's just a one times multiplier. If you're hitting two targets, always it's a two times multiplier. And for this one to two target, the reason why it's like this is because it's basically a coin flip. It's a 50 50 on whether or not it's actually targeting one or two people. So in this case, we do 1.5, just throw that in there. The main skill correction here is literally the main skill, the uh, level of your actual main skill itself. And I do have the ratios for that uh, up here in the corner, if you guys are interested in that. The job correction as stated in the healing video is 1.1. Uh, that is assuming, of course, you are using the actual appropriate class for this specific job. Now, obviously, if you happen to have harps in your debuffing grid, then your harp will not get this and it will go down to a 1.0. So do keep that in mind. The support boon correction is exactly as you guys would expect. It is the correction uh, due to support boon activating. And as for the proc rate of support boon, I do have it here. Uh, thank you very much to Fallen for providing that because there's no way in fuck I was going to do that math. Uh, so this this should make it quite easy. Uh, and while we're on this topic, obviously I will put it here. Uh, this is a calculator. The skill level is your skill level of your actual weapon. Let's say it's level one. You put level one. Support boom proc here is literally how many times do you think your support boom is going to proc? Obviously, this is pure chance. You guys can figure that out if you want to calculate it. Um, if you just want to see how much it'll be, if you have like a bunch of support boons, feel free to put that number however you want. Do not touch this number, please. This is the actual formula. I will lock it down. Don't touch this. And then this here is literally the multiplier of the support boon. So you see here, for example, let's say your support boon is level two in here, 0 0.15 instead of 0 0.10. Uh, and that's, that'll calculate that by itself. The next one is obviously Nightmare Correction. If you happen to be using a Nightmare that say buffs all water skills, well, there you go. It's going to buff water skills. Um, obviously, I will have the link to the actual thing there so that you guys can see what the actual percentages are. I, I don't know what they are either, to be honest. Uh, the Attenuation Correction is actually not as hard to explain as I thought it would be, but I do have it on the stacks page down here. And the basic just to say how it works is that as you go higher up and stack a number, the effectiveness of your actual uh, buff or debuff will go down. So, for example, in this case, target is at 15 buffs and you're trying to increase it to 16. Well, this will get halved uh, from 2050 basically to 1025. And then obviously the weapon modifier. I did change the name a little bit. Sorry if I confuse you guys from the healing video. But the weapon modifier is literally the uh, the modifier of the weapon itself based on the tier of the weapon. Again, I will have the link to the actual um, weapon directory so you guys can find out what your exact weapons are. I don't know if it's even releasing global, so eh, that's fine. Right, so that will give you out the number of 2049.3. Now, Tachi, how the hell does that calculate into a stack, right? What, is that, what does that thing do? Well, the basic gist of how it works is that, right, and hopefully this will actually help visualize it. For you to hit the second stack, right, you see here how it says 10%. That means that you need to have buffed 10%. Uh, it's actually a range, by the way. Let's say they have 10,000 attack, correct? So in that case right here, uh, this would actually be over 
uh, the 1000 that you require and it would immediately it would boost them up to four stacks automatically right in regards to the attenuation i do have it down here as you guys can see here when you are buffing up until the 10th stack you guys do not have to deal with any attenuation at all i don't know what you guys would consider that uh, i call it attenuation that's what jp calls it but uh, i did put here just in case it confuses people attenuation is basically a reduction in effectiveness uh, once you are at the 11th stack to the 18th stack you receive a 50 percent reduction in buffing power basically and then for the final two stacks you receive a 90 percent reduction so the final two stacks will be the hardest for you to actually be able to get and then when it comes to debuffing obviously it's a little bit different from debuffing zero to five stacks no attenuation but from six to ten it's a 50 percent and then from 11 to 20 it's a 90 percent drop but not only that but you can't even debuff for the full 100 percent like you can with buffing right so you cannot you cannot get someone to zero but you can double someone's stats as you see here basically from the 11 stack onwards it's a two percent increase per stack uh, so do keep that in mind as you are doing that and again hopefully this graph will actually help you uh, visualize exactly how uh, the actual thing works i think before it was in a line graph which it doesn't register quite as well to people that don't really i mean who who really looks at line graphs all day am i right and then obviously i have the uh buffing and uh, debuffing percentages here um in case you are interested obviously i didn't i didn't notate the amount of stacks well, maybe i should have but you can count uh, to see exactly what it means here so um in case people are confused uh the 10th stack 50 percent 10th stack for everyone is still 50 percent of their whatever it is, stat it is right if i have 10 stacks on attack and my friend also has 10 stacks on attack assuming obviously there's a range right but it's we're both still going to be receiving a 50 percent buff to our attack stat it's the same thing so as you can see here buffing and debuffing is basically a relationship between uh, your stats and the uh, opponent or, and or target stats uh, do keep that in mind if you happen to be a debuffer the stronger the enemy is the harder it will be to debuff them especially if you are not as strong as them so that would explain why uh, debuffers with low stats have difficulty uh, debuffing a lot of the frontliners right now i've noticed a lot of the debuffers are sitting around like 60 70k that's not really enough to deal with people that have like 130k stats because it's going to take a while for you to cut them uh, you saw the math there before this is actually a pretty decent book I, I think this is even an L and this is with support boon and it's still only 2000. So if they have, I think like 30,000 attack, right? That's going to be pretty hefty for you to actually be able to debuff them. So and obviously in buffing terms, uh, it's actually a lot easier for you because there's no, there's no ridiculous amount of attenuation until you hit around 10, 11 stacks. So it's obviously going to be a lot easier for you to actually buff up stacks as opposed to the enemy debuff them. Uh, most likely, this is probably why, at least in global right now, I think perhaps having uh, a 4-3 split of uh, Sork to Minstrels might actually be a better idea. Uh, just because I feel like you might need more uh, debuffers than you actually need buffers, right? because it's so hard to debuff people especially strong people that even a little bit extra um maybe i think over the entire coliseum it'll probably be like at least 100 to 200 thousand debuff that will help you a lot in terms of reducing the enemy's stats as opposed to just barely increasing your stack amount right because i think even with three supports you should actually be able to uh, stick around to 10 uh, stacks assuming of course that they also don't have uh, for sorcerers so anyhow guys hopefully that helped i clearly need a lot of sleep this actually took me a lot longer than i expected and i'm probably still not explaining it well enough and it's probably going to be boring because it's just a bunch of math stuff and there's no video to show proof unfortunately that would be a little bit difficult especially when considering i record in the middle of the night but again if you guys have any questions whatsoever feel free to let me know in the comments down below and also, if you guys like the video, hit the like button. Again, I will be doing the actual DPS calculations, uh, hopefully in the next couple of days. I really need to sleep, clearly. And also, if you guys are interested in seeing that, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And I'm not going to tell you to hit the notification bell. Honestly, who even checks that? But if you want to, feel free to. Anyways, I am out, guys. Have a nice day.